Now look, imagine going to watch your favourite band, but not being able to choose your seat tickets or being forced to sit away from the main stage. It sounds ridiculous, but sadly it's what many disabled people experience when they go to see gigs. Now a new campaign called Why Not People is looking to change that. I'm joined by the group's founder and Radio 1 DJ Jamila Jamil. Good to see you Jamila. Hi. Tell us what it's all about. Well, I just wanted to... I've decided that I can't live in a world anymore that doesn't actually represent our society accurately. You know, I go out and I DJ for sometimes 10,000 people all over the UK and all over Europe and I will never, ever, ever... I've never even seen a person with a visible physical disability at one of those gigs, never mind an accurate representation of our population. Why not? You have a, because there's no access in most of the venues in the UK, and I can say that very confidently because I know, because I've been searching with a fine tooth comb through all of them to find somewhere to put on my gigs. Because I just can't bear it. I've been, I've had a personal experience with disability myself. Yeah, was, when you were 17, right? Yeah, I was hit by a car, and I was so debilitated that I couldn't walk again for another year, and then after that I was on a Zimmer frame. And everywhere that I would go out, just socialise with my friends the way a 17-year-old, or I guess by then a 19-year-old should, I was made to feel like a fire hazard and like a burden. And I, it socially harmed me for a long time because I, I missed out on those kind of pivotal moments of, of my youth, of learning how to integrate myself amongst other people. What kind of excuses are venues giving you? Well, they say that they're listed buildings or they say that they, uh, well, they don't have enough disabled clientele to justify the cost of the refurbishments. But, I mean, it's very chicken and egg. But if they refurbish, they would get if more If you refurbish clients, them, then maybe right. they'd actually come into the building and you'd realise that there is, well, there are 11.8 million people with disabilities in this country approximately and they have an 80 billion pound spending power amongst them and they are consumers just like the rest of us they don't need anyone's charity or anyone's pity they just want to be able to go out and shake off the week just the way that everyone else does so aside from the moral reasons it could be an economic benefit exactly for a lot of that's people. just it it's like I don't I don't care why someone does it it's a basic business strategy it's just people just like the rest of us last question you're you are putting on a, a special gig though aren't you to highlight this I'm putting on a series of gigs it's a whole gig company mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be putting on events where people with disabilities are not just going to be on a ramp on the side, you know, cordoned off from everyone else, separated from their friends and family. They're right in the middle of all of the action. We cater to all the different impairments, physical, visual and hearing. And mm -hmm. we have the likes of Coldplay, Ed Sheeran, James Blake, okay. Tiny Temper, Mark Ronson, amongst many more. Good lineup. Performing for us. And you two DJing, I'm sure.